what is going on guys today we are looking at florine again I can't pronounce that name, but he is an 88 centre mid. He is six foot with a four star weak foot and a three star skill move. Obviously medium medium as you can see. And he has been a 79 rated common for Mooch and Gladback. And honestly, he looks relatively alright. The one thing that I'm not doing with these cards anymore is pre pre-perceiving that they are going to be better than what they are. We've used the left back and the animations are totally off and I feel like there's been it's a running theme with a few of these that they're not necessarily any different to what their gold cards are in terms of animations which defeats the object you can literally like I say in most cards if you've got someone like I'm trying to think like a, a no no river is actually not that bad who's good you get someone like a Vitzel for instance he's a bit clunky he's a tall guy you whack him at a 99 yes his stats will be incredible but his animation will still be the same and it's the same with these cards a lot of them are low rated you see them um, in kind of like really low rated teams and they still feel the same in terms of dribbling obviously stat increase is lovely and you do get a, a bonus on some aspects but not everybody is always incredible with that this guy hopefully will be different he is a center mid pretty much a box to box if anything we have bought him on an anchor so i want to see what it's like on there it gives him that pace increase gives him obviously defending physical he's already got relatively good passing i'd say that's pretty top end um dribbling wise looks pretty nice as well for a six foot player i'm expecting him to be a, a little bit clunky not the most agile player but it hopefully will have a little bit of a boost due to the 87 and 86 agility balance shooting wise not really there he's going to have pop shots if anything obviously he has got long shots but no finishing and then his defended looks relatively the best stat so we're going to play him as that box to box in game hopefully he can do quite well unfortunately no traits for him um, and overall it's costing about 200k at the moment i think he was about 250 when i bought him but i managed to snipe him for 198 so hopefully we can maybe break even on this card let's get him on the ball florine coming in okay Let's see what he can do. Can he push forward? I don't know why this guy's letting him go forward as we find Cantona pretty easy. I, I honestly don't understand why this guy literally just let him run through like anything. Great challenge. Lovely challenge. Straight back to him. Get the ball roll. One. Two. Lovely. Get back into him. find him again honestly you literally one after the other pushing forward very nicely into Reyna's and again we see him pushing forward he seems like he's actually relatively got a bit of bit of speed on him which is always nice and he's going to go for the rocket oh in the post that that's where his long shots his kind of random one shots are going to come off sometimes he's going to go absolutely wide obviously post isn't that bad it's it's close enough as we see him absolutely boss in the midfield really putting a shift in straight off the bat i don't know what the opponent's doing he seems like he's not bothering too much florine get over there cracking challenge and the minute first impressions really really liking him he's on the toes on all everything basically i'm really really impressed so far whether that's just the opponent I, I don't personally know what's going on with him he seems to be just unresponsive really but he's absolutely winning everything and, and that's all that matters in a game no matter what the opponent is as long as he's winning everything i can't complain one bit so it's lovely speed game back here do run into him unfortunately but i'm liking the speed of him his jockeying seems to be absolutely fantastic we haven't obviously got too much skill moves with him but in general just the cheeky one twos it's looking like it's working quite well for him oh i was going to go for that one if he went offside oh nearly putting him in florine getting in on the action again little ball roll Little turn. This guy's defending is absolutely woeful. How has he not finished that? You can tell the 75 uh, finishing there. Find Maradona. It's a cracking ball from him. Cut back. Heel to heel. Rainbow. Bang. Oh, lovely ball though. Great pass over the top. Florian doing the defensive duels against a Rashford. We're still going with him. 
Get that tackling. Lovely. And I, I like it. Box to box suits him very, very well in this first match. Orin. Beautiful. Little one twos for Ronaldo. Not been as good in, again against this guy. I feel like he is a hell of a lot better than the last opponent, but still managing to put in tracks. He's, he's winning the ball back. He's managing to get in the way. I can't really complain and see much of a difference other than maybe I'm not dominating the midfield as much in this game. So we have got Florin here. He is not bad. I, I feel like the first match was kind of like a bit of a, I don't know, it's like a daze because the guy didn't seem to be as good as I was expecting him to be. He ran an absolute mockery through him. He was great from defense all the way up to attack, making the positions. But to be fair to him, even in the second match, still managed to do them things. Managed to get the ball, managed to get the tackles, get the pass off. And that's his job done. He's managed to get a couple of shots, but realistically, I'm not going to be having too many with him. Long shots just don't really hit it this year, or at least I personally don't. Whereas the kind of in the box, get the little finesse on the go, that's where I'm personally better at. And I think this guy definitely can't do that, but he can set up that chance. His passing was lovely. His kind of uh, dribbling on the ball, even though he doesn't have the freestyle skills, was still quite agile, which was very nice. It just would be better to have that little bit of an option if you get into a sticky situation maybe a little burber spin a little kind of a uh, little flick would have done absolute wonders but overall i felt like he was a solid consistent centre mid. he may not be the most meta he may not be the best in his position but in terms of consistency i was very happy with what he could do um obviously 200k i think it's still a little bit too early yet obviously it's going down to 204 as you can see as we refreshed um and i think once he goes down to probably like the 160 mark maybe even under if he does manage to then that's when i'd be personally looking at him and he is the first one to actually have an inform as well which is really cool to see in this in the ones that we've reviewed he's the first one to actually get a review and an inform in there but obviously he is 23 years old so a little bit older than a couple of the 21 18 year olds that we have been uh, looking at so overall i thought he was a very consistent consistent card lovely throughout in terms of his stats and just a nice player to play with so definitely could go into the bundesliga team if i did manage to get him untradeable hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did make sure you like and subscribe I'll see you next. Peace.